Well, we all know that in the past our community has been hit with many tragedies and we feel that some of these tragedies have been related to drug use in our community. So last uh, week on Thursday, April 6th, we held a community meeting uh, to try and figure out a strategy to deal with this. During that session, we heard reports about what we are doing now from the Six Nations Police, the High Risk Committee, New Directions and Social Services. We then broke into small groups at, uh, in, at the community meeting rather than having an open mic so that we could get more feedback from more people. So and there was a lot of discussion in each of these groups and then uh, one person from each of the groups came back and provided a report to the whole community. So we thought it was quite helpful and people seemed to really like it. Uh, so we're going to be compiling all of the information and we'll be providing it to council and start discussing next steps. We will also be getting all of that information back to the community either through or possibly through social media and maybe a special newsletter. We also had a sign up sheet for a community action group and which who we hope will continue to work on our strategy. Councillor Sherry Lynn Hill Pierce has stepped up and said that she will assist this community action group. I want to thank those that have signed up and we're still looking for more people if they want to participate. And I want to thank everyone who attended the meeting and who provided the feedback. Um, so it's so important, I think, that we all work together on this issue to make our community safe again. And just on justice, I wanted to let everyone know that Council was successful in securing funding for our Justice Department. We received funding to hire two restorative justice workers, as well as funding for two bylaw officers. So as so soon as we get organized and uh, get them in place, then they'll be uh, assisting our community as well.